Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Textway with me, Jay. Today we're taking a look and reviewing the Neo wireless earbuds by a Dutch company called Rolfstone. They were kind enough to actually send these out to me direct for free. They were also kind enough to provide me with a second pair to give away to one lucky winner. So make sure you're subscribed and give this video a like and keep watching to find out how you can also win. But first, we're going to be taking a look at the unboxing experience of these earbuds. If you want to jump straight into the specs or my opinion, then I'll set up some timestamps for you in the video description below. When opening the packaging, you'll immediately notice that it stays closed using magnets, which looks and feels pretty good. You're then presented with some clear, simple instructions on how to use them, a box with a micro USB cable, and different sized earbuds and a manual in English and Dutch. Then of course, in the middle, you've got the Neo earbuds themselves hidden in a small but elegant protective carry case slash charging station. Now on the website, Rolfstone do claim that the Neo earbuds can be used up to 6 hours of continuous use and up to 24 hours when using the charging case. In my experience, I've actually found that their claims were pretty much spot on, as I used the earbuds for approximately 5 hours and 40 minutes continuously before they needed charging again in the case. Now, the case itself takes a full 60 minutes to charge up from flat, and the actual earbuds themselves take 50 minutes to fully charge inside the charging case. Now, the Neo earbuds come with Bluetooth 5.0, which should give you a range of approximately up to 15 meters. And I should also point out that they're both rain and sweat resistant, so that meaning if you go into the gym or you get caught in the rain, you don't have to worry. And they are also certified IP64. In terms of the design, here's the charging case up and close, and you can see that it is indeed really small. And whilst that means Rollstone may have had to sacrifice some of their battery size when compared to some of their competitors, the impact to their daily use is minimal. Now the Neo earbuds themselves are also small when wearing them, they're very discreet when worn but at the same time they still look stylish and feel comfortable in the ear. Now they do include different sized earbuds in the accessories which means you should be able to find the correct and most comfortable size for you whilst giving you a perfect seal for passive noise cancellation. When you first take the earbuds out of the case, you'll notice that there are tiny white LEDs flashing, and this is to actually indicate that they're pairing to each other and that they're looking for a device to connect to. Now, if you're able to actually put these earbuds into your ears fast enough, you'll also hear some audible tones. The first tone is them turning on, and a second tone and the left earbud only is telling you that it's connected to the device. Now, this is something that you need to remember because these earbuds do not have any visible sign for which earbud belongs to which ear. So if you're listening to sounds in mono, then this won't make an issue for you. But if you're listening to anything in stereo, you'll definitely notice. Once the Neo earbuds have paired to a device, they'll automatically reconnect to the last paired device when taken out of the charging case. So if that was your phone, then it will last connect to that. If you actually change before that, then it will obviously go to that device. The pairing itself should take anywhere between 5 to 10 seconds in my experience before it's ready for playback. Once paired, you're able to actually control your media through either both or one of the earbuds, as both of them have buttons on them. Now, when you're getting a phone call, you can also use these buttons to answer, hang up, or even reject that call. Now, in terms of the sound quality, as the Neo earbuds are in it, you'll benefit from passive noise cancelling as long as you have a good seal. The mids and highs come through very clear on these earbuds, and these are actually something I was very impressed with. After creating a good seal, there is definitely an increase in bass to be heard, or, but it's almost a little bit too much. So if you're someone that prefers a heavier bass, you'll definitely like these. For a price of 100 euros, I think you're getting a very good deal when compared to some of the top shelf earbuds out there. However, there are many other, other options available which will offer a similar experience for a little bit less money. So I'd give these earbuds a 8 out of 10 if I was to give them a rating, as they are certainly better than the first generation AirPods released by Apple, but I would say that they're still a far reach from the second generation AirPods that are currently out at the moment. Now, if you fancy winning yourselves a pair of these Rolfstone Neo earbuds, then get subscribed to the channel now for more great videos like this. Leave a comment down below on what was your favorite piece of technology from 2019 and why. A winner will be picked at random from those comments on Saturday the 11th of January. So thank you all for watching, that's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next video.